Good morning. Oh, I just woke up, obviously. I can't, you know what, I was thinking, I can't even believe I let myself be on camera with no makeup and just, like, no cares. I don't know. It's just that I know that, like, before, I wouldn't even step out of my house without makeup, let alone put a video on YouTube with no makeup. But it's whatever. I don't know. Maybe I just don't care anymore. I'm just letting myself go. Anyway, so today um, I am actually just dedicating myself to my house, organizing my kids' room. I went to Dollar Tree last night, got a bunch of stuff to organize their room, their toys, get rid of crap. And just I just want to organize my house so it doesn't feel cluttered. And yeah, that's my goal today. And then um, I'll probably show you guys afterwards once I'm done. Let me show you the current state of my kid's room. Well, my girl's room. So, I just bought these, uh, signs here from home, the home store at home. And they're really cute. Do not, do not worry, be happy. And then that one reminded me of just something that would say, like, sure, yeah, okay, like, little brats. <laughs> just kidding. And then I'm going to take down this uh, frozen decals off the wall because the girls are both uh, going to be nine. Well, my daughter's nine and then my stepdaughter will be nine this year. So, you know, it's just time to get rid of the frozen stuff. Then we have the lava lava on the window. <laughs> um, I might just leave that up there. It has uh, Leah's name up there. And then she, she has like her little drawing she put on the wall. So I want to let her have her own little space but look at this bunk bed it's just full of clutter um the closet is just full of clothes and clutter I think I'm gonna move this um into the closet so there's more room right here because this whole space is just really confined and then underneath the bed here we do have some bins but most of that is just like a lot of stuff I need to throw away my son's bed is in here for when my sister's here. She sleeps in his room, so we have his little toddler bed in here, too, when he's here. Or when he sleeps in here. Under there, it's just, like, so cluttered. It's just, I can't. I can't do it anymore. I can't look at it anymore. And I want my kids to have a space, like, where they want to come and hang out. Because when they're here, they're usually in my living room, taking that big TV up. And I want them to be in here chilling, playing, so... I'm gonna try and hook their room up today, so we'll see. Right, so I've been at it for an hour, and I just wanna give up. <laughs> All that stuff in the hallway is just like trash, basically. I've tried to keep some of the stuff that I that's like still in really good condition that I can give away uh, to the thrift store that can be reused. The only thing that I've really gotten like all the way done is put all those in bins, those uh, toys in bins in here, and then clean the glass. But seriously, this is all my kids' stuff. All right here. It just goes out into the hallway, and I just can't believe I let this get this bad, and I'm just mad at myself for not cleaning earlier. This was all under the bed. It's just, it's a mess, and I really want to just stop, but I'm not going to. I need to finish this. Oh, look at this old rose I found from my babe. It was up in their closet. I can't remember when he gave this to me. But I know it's really old. Probably either from when we first moved in here. Yeah, probably. We've lived here for four years, so. I thought that was cute. Okay, I'm finally done with the room. 
It's a lot cleaner, more organized down there. We still have this really old TV. I know it's pretty ancient. We actually have a antenna for it, but that's one of my goals is to get them a better TV probably around Christmas. This is my son's toddler bed, like I said, but I kind of just made it into like a little couch for them so that they could like read or whatever. Um, and then I moved, the dresser was right here and I just moved it into the closet like so. I'm probably going to try and spray paint this so it can be white again. Um, but I put their bins up there, the stuff that I did keep. Their shoes are actually in here. It's not really an ideal place to put your shoes, but just put it in there so they could easily grab it off the dresser. Um, then I just put, put the chair there. And then under their bed was really bad, but let me show you. It's all clean. Look, it's dark. You can't see anything, but this is their laundry basket. I just have them put it underneath so it's not showing. And then there's two bins over here that have uh, some more stuff that I kept for them. And that's about it. The room is done. But now that this room is clean, this is everything that was in there. So this is all trash right here. Well, some of it still is like donatable that I'm going to go through. And then this is all donating. So all of this was in that room, that little room right there. So my work isn't through. I still have a lot of stuff to go through, but I'm glad that it's clean and organized. I'm not even close to being done cleaning my house. So I did shower and did my makeup because uh, if I didn't do it now, I would never do it. Um, there's still trash back there, but I was thinking about doing a mukbang because I haven't done one for a while and I'm hungry because I haven't eaten and it's like two right now. So I might go get some food and do a mukbang on a separate video and that pimple. Yeah, it's just my son here this weekend. So he's doing his thing in the living room. I just got off the phone with my man and yes, I'm cutting my forehead off. Is that better? Um, I just got off the phone with my man. He's supposed to call me back. And that's about it. We'll see where the day takes us. I think mostly I'll just be cleaning this weekend. So I'm going to go do this mukbang for another day. Actually, it's a really good day. I got some stuff done. My house is still not the way I want it, but whatever. I was able to go get groceries. I was able to do a car mukbang, which will probably be up before this vlog, I'm pretty sure. And now I'm just in bed trying to do some laundry. And I was just walking around like, you know, kind of complaining in my head like, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. But you know what? In the end, I'm super grateful that I have a house over my head. You know, I work and this is what I work for, to be comfortable on my time off, even though I have to do chores and, you know, everything that everyone else has to do. I am super grateful to have a, a roof over my kid's head, to have food in their stomachs. And, you know, I may not be able to get everything, I, buy everything I want or buy, get them everything that they want, but we have everything that we need and I'm super super grateful for that and I'm just happy you know that you know we're we're getting by on our own um yeah it's still tough every day every day is tough but uh you know I wish my boo was right here with me we had a good visit today he was just kind of down like usual I'm down too but <sighs> yeah it was a good visit I think um yeah, we have a lot of plans. Uh, if you guys watched my last vlog, I was talking about how I had a like a bump removed from my 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 breast area. I'll actually insert a picture right here or right here. No, right here. Um, you know, not to be like 
TMI, but it, it, it isn't, it doesn't show anything. It just shows the bump itself. And I did, um, have the doctor's office call me back and let me know that it was called keratoa canthoma basal cell carcinoma. So it was a form of skin cancer, but they just said they cut it out and then I don't have to follow up. It just, I'll only have to follow up if it grows back. So yeah, I'm glad they cut it out and I'm glad I asked them about it because I just thought, I was like, well, I don't know why this is growing here for like almost a year it was growing on my skin. So that is over with and it'll just be on to the next challenge. I have some news or I guess it's news. I don't know. It's kind of embarrassing, but I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to make a whole other video about it. So I'm not even going to bring it up right now. Anyways, I'm going to chill and probably go to sleep. My name is CC. <laughs> How do you like my makeup today? I'm losing my mind, guys. I'm losing my mind. Actually, I've been trying to um, practice doing drag makeup because I wanted to do a drag tutorial. And I just, I this is my second time doing it and I just end up looking like a hot clown mess. Like, my inner corners right here just meh. So, yeah, I, I don't think I'll do one. But it's fun. It was fun. This took me like two hours to put together. Um, but anyways, yeah. I feel like I need a wig. Like I'm not going to look fully transformed unless I have a wig on. But anyways, it was fun to like mess around with. So I'm going to end my vlog here. It's Sunday. I'm going to go wash my face. Like look at my eyebrows. They're legit glued down. Look. Oh my god. They're so ugly up close. But they're glued down. My real eyebrows are like go like right here. And I drew these like Ursula eyebrows. Anyways, um, thanks for watching my vlog. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.